Okay, so now we have completed and trimmed our soap dispenser. And there was just a couple things I'd like to go over uh, in reference to preparing this pot for the kiln to be bisque fired. First of all, it's still fairly soft. And this is the last time in the throwing process we are going to be able to do any tooling or put any marks into the clay, depending off, on if you wanted a, a, a design in there. Any gouging of the clay should be done now. And I'll show you how it's still workable by simply writing my name into the bottom and the date. I like to do this with all my pots so I know when I made it. Okay, the other thing is any, any smoothing out you'd want to do, you would want to do it now. Um, when the clay is dried, it will look like this. It will be hard. And as you can see, if I try scratching it, it will simply dust off and make an uneven, ugly pattern. So any marking you want to do, as I said before, you would want to do now. When it gets to this stage, it is ready to be put into the kiln. Last thing I would like to mention is that my cork in here, as you can see, it goes all the way down so it's flat. Um, this clay will shrink 10% to 13%. Um, so the cork will probably be up here when it's done. I may have thrown this just a little bit small. So um, you will learn through trial and error how big you want to make this hole. Different clay bodies shrink at different rates. Um, different firings, different temperatures will, will make the, sh the clay shrink at different rates. So you re really want to do some trial and error before you make a lot of these. And there we go. So now we've completed our soap dispenser or lotion dispenser. I've certainly enjoyed having you here at my studio. I hope you've enjoyed being here. Join us again on Expert Village and learn how to make a variety of different kinds of ceramic forms.